Embrace Jesus of Nazareth as the Christ became in God's eyes a righteous individual. He was a believer and he was in the Father. Now verse 25. This is the promise that he hath promised us, that is the nation of Israel, even eternal life. These things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Now, what does that mean? Lead you astray. So John is writing to these little groups of believers, these synagogues, as James calls them, these synagogues of Jewish believers who had recognized that Jesus was the Christ but oh, there were just as many elements trying to lead them astray. Sound familiar? Oh, of course, same thing today. My, you're getting hit with everything but the kitchen sink. If I can believe what I hear. Now, of course, Iris and I don't have satellite, we don't have cable, and so we're immune to all that stuff. But I hear it from our listening audience. And I'm just aghast of what's out there. And it's 90% false. They're seducing people, see? Well, they were up against the same thing here. And the things I have written that concern them that seduce you. These false teachers, as Peter laid them out, and when we get the little book of Jude in a few tapings, he's going to do the same thing. Warn people about these false teachers, see? All right, now verse 27. But the flip side, the anointing which you have received of him, not the false teaching of the seducers, but the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and his truth and his no lie, even as taught you, you shall abide in him. Now, does that sound like Paul? Does Paul ever say you don't need to be taught? Well, let's go back and look. Let's go back and look. Um, let's go back to Hebrews for a starter. Let's come back to Hebrews. Chapter 5. Hebrews chapter 5. Now this isn't a contradiction. This is a change of modus operandi. John is talking to believing Jews who knew the Old Testament scriptures. They had been steeped in them. And as he could say, they, they don't have to be taught. But now look what Paul says. Verse, chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing you are dull of hearing. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the word of God, and you are become such as have need of milk. 